Right now, you got people that's looking at the news as we speak. Didn't have a symptom. But as soon as the news go off, they sick. Oh, shit. Right, Let good? me see. Welcome back to my channel. I was not going to do this. I promise you guys, I wasn't going to do this. I see a lot of people doing videos on the coronavirus. It's on the news. It's on the radio. It's on your computer all the time. And I wasn't going to do it, but I have to. Today, I'm going to give you a five-step strategy guide to stay safe, stay sane, and stay whole during this coronavirus outbreak. If you're brand new to the channel, I'm Boss Money Base, and this is Expensive Facts. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody's scared. I know. You scared, you scared, you scared, you scared. There's a lot of people that scared. I was a little scared too. I'm not going to lie, I heard about it. And I'm like, damn, it's a lot going on. It's always something going on. First Kobe, Pop Smoke. This is in our world I'm talking about. It's a lot of things happened already in 2020. And I'm like, damn, I kind of called this in my prediction video on my other channel, but I knew a lot of things was coming. I knew this was the year that a lot of things were going to happen. And then we got hit with the coronavirus. I said to myself, damn, this can't be real. It really can't be real. But as real as I thought it wasn't, it really is real. People were suffering. People were hurt. People were dying. But um, this is a little strategy guide that I put together for you guys. Because... Hmm, we need a strategy. Number one thing is something that I keep on doing over and over and over. I think I washed my hands a million times since they said start washing your hands. I've been washing my hands. Listen, you have to wash those hands. You have to disinfect those hands. You got to keep those hands clean. Keep those hands out your face. Keep those hands out your mouth. Stop biting your nails. Fellas, stop biting your nails. That's nasty anyway. Ladies don't like that. They don't like that. Stop doing that. You got to keep them hands clean, man. When you touch doorknob, you touch your girl ass. Here and there, there and there. You got to keep those hands clean. Go in the bathroom, wash them hands. As we see hand sanitizer prices skyrocketed. Soap ain't skyrocketed. Toilet tissue skyrocketed. I, I don't know why toilet tissue skyrocketed. Did they tell y'all that you will have a problem wiping your ass? Because we had to forget it. Wash your hands. You got to keep those hands clean. Really, really. All jokes aside, you got to keep those hands clean. And number two, have to have mild or slim to no contact, man. I'm not giving you dabs no more. I might hit you with the kid and play. I might do the kid and play on you. I might give you a foot. I might give you an elbow. But skin to skin, you got to limit that, man. I know you're thinking skin to skin, and I'm thinking the same thing. I'm touching my woman, though. I don't know about you. I ain't touching you, nigga. I ain't going to touch you, but I'm going to touch my woman. You, you got you to gotta keep contact slim to none, man. Honestly, all jokes aside, you got to keep it slim to none to stop this thing from spreading. I don't know how bad it's going to get. We don't know how bad it will get. They say the virus is like 10 times the strength of the flu. You do the math. Me, uh, seems like a regular cold to me, but that's, I don't want to get into the conspiracy theory things and I don't want to do none of that. What I'm telling you is, is what I, I've i come to know. You have to have mild contact with people. You have to have mild contact with objects. Keep some gloves with you. The face mask shit, it does not work. I'm going to throw a video up right here. So y'all can see that the face mask thing is not it's definitely not going to Even the mask, the holes in the mask are over 0.7 microns big. The reason why I have to tell you that is because the virus is 0.7 microns big, which means there's enough fitting room for the virus to seep through the mask and still you contract it. So Number three, you have to have cash on hand. They're talking about locking down towns, cities, states. They might lock this whole damn thing down. If they lock it down, they could play the game with the banks. They could stop your money. You have to keep some cash on you. 
it's mandatory that you go take that cash out. If you got cash accessible, you have to have that on hand. You have to have that cash just in case shit stop. Just in case today, they say, listen, everything is stopping. You can't move. You can't go here. You can't go there. We got to stop everything. You need cash on hand, liquid cash. You cannot have your shit in the bank and think that, oh, I'm just going to take a trip to the bank today. No, no. Did you see the motherfucking movie containment? You're not going nowhere. Nowhere. You need that cash on hand. C-O-D. Cash on deck. Let me say that again. C-O-D. Cash on on deck you need that cash on deck it's mandatory you got to keep that cash just in case you got to go out and you got to buy a couple of things and speaking of buying a couple of things if they do decide to say yo listen i'm gonna shut it down i'm not telling you to go out and go crazy and spend all your money on food but you need a couple of things to keep the house right to keep the house running so you won't have to jump out there and be in the midst of all that. Now, the other night, I'm riding on 42nd Street. Shit is clear. i never seen a city like this. Motherfuckers are scared, man. Motherfuckers ain't going to restaurants. Motherfuckers ain't going dancing. Listen, me and my lady, we out. You know, I'm always chilling. We out. I'm smoking hookah. We in a hookah joint. Do lives. I said to myself, we ain't supposed to be Perfect. here. Perfect. Let's go get some shit and be out of here. So we got out of here. But what I'm telling you is, you got to keep that cash on hand, man. Just in case you need to spend something. Keep that on hand, man. Number four, and this is one of the most important things. Do not, and I want to stress that do not. Do not. Let me say that again. Do not let fear control you. You have to understand this. If you are a man of faith, you walk in faith, not fear, the different F. You have to have faith in your God. You have to have faith in you. Fear is gonna stop you from doing everything that you wanna do. I'm not saying don't go outside because I'm going the fuck outside. I'm going to get that air. I'm going to enjoy that sun that God gave me I'm going to enjoy that. I'm about to go enjoy that right now after I get off this video. After I stop this, I'm out. I'm going to get that sunshine. I'm going to get that sunshine. I'm going to get all that. Do not let fear control you in these situations, in these times. Right now, you got people that's looking at the news as we speak. Didn't have a symptom. But as soon as the news go off, they sick. Oh, shit. Let me say that again. You got niggas that's looking at the news right now that didn't have a symptom. But as soon as the news go off, they sick. Can you feel that shit? It's mind over matter. I done told you wash your hands. I done told you to chill with the contact. It's cool, but it's mind over matter. If you believe you sick, nigga, you sick. I'm sick. I'm sick with this shit. That's why I do this. If you believe that you are sick, you are sick. If you believe that you are going to contract the virus, then my man, it's coming to you. No weapon formed against shall prosper. I'm speaking that gospel. You feel me? No weapon formed against shall prosper. You have to understand that that's real. That's expensive as expensive can get. And that ain't no bullshit. If you let fear control you, you're going to be in the house. And I'm going to be outside enjoying this shit. I write you. I'll tell you about it. I call you. I'll tell you about it. I take a picture, nigga, and show you. I told you I was out last night. We was out. We was rocking. I'm driving. I might have been driving. I ain't taking mass transit, damn it. I'm driving, though. But I was enjoying it. Y'all niggas inside, y'all scared. Looking in the mirror, brushing your hair. Not me. We was out. This is what I'm saying to you. Get out. Enjoy that. Don't let that fear control you. Fear control your soul and stop you from doing everything that you're supposed to do. You feel me? Now, number five. This is the most important thing, if anything. 
if you have a God and you believe in your God and you trust your God, understand this. Those prayers work. Pray. Throw them prayers up. He is listening to you. If you believe it's a she, she is listening to you. But prayers work. Once again, don't let that fear get to you. Those prayers will help you. Those prayers will guide you. Because once he get them prayers, he's going to tell you which way to go. He's going to tell you how to move so you won't get that shit. And if you get it, if you get it, you just got to beat it. Play Ali with it. Play Tyson with it. Play Frazier with it. Play Floyd with it. Play with it. Get rid of it. Get it and get rid of it if you get it. But you can't be scared. Those prayers work. Drink a lot of water. Pop a lot of vitamin C. It's a respiratory infection. It fucks with your respiratory system. Vitamin C helps your respiratory system. Fuck with vitamin C. I drink water all day. Water, water, water. Hold on. Water, water, water. I said, hold on. Water, water, water. Drink your water. Bottom line is this. We can't control what's going on 20 blocks from us. 100 blocks from us. Out of state. Out of country. All you can control is in your circle. Your family. Your thoughts. Your mind. Your moving. Your dealings. Control it. And control yourself. That's the bottom line. I'm boss money based. And this is expensive. As expensive could get. And that ain't no bullshit. Nigga. You. No.